Hey guys, it's Sven. In this video, I'm going to implement the mutation method and implement all the five different mutation types. But before I do that, I need to fix something that I messed up in the first video. So the first thing is, in the random hash set method, in the random hash set class, I forgot a method that is very important right now. And it can add a genome, or a gene, into this list in a sorted fashion. So basically, it looks where it has to be placed in the list and it doesn't simply place it at the end. But if uh, the um, innovation number is like somewhere in the middle, it's going to place it like right there where it should be. So basically, this method ensures that every data that's going to be put in is sorted by the innovation number. And this is why we need this um, video. So you can download this in the description if you like. Furthermore, what you can also download in the description are these two classes. I'm not going to go through them, but basically it's a frame and a panel, and you can call the const constructor by um, giving it a genome, and it draws the uh, genome. So if you go into the main method of your need class, you can simply create a new need object, create a input size, let's say, of 2 and an output size of 2 as well, or 3 or 2, whatever, create a new frame, put a empty genome in there and what you should see is if you run this you should see a um, basically two input nodes and two output nodes uh, according to the uh, to the input size and output size so we're going to use this to debug our mutations uh, you can see them in the top so we've got five mutations the random wake wake shift link mutation node mutation and the um, link toggle method also a mutate method that combines all of these and we're going to implement these methods today so let's go by, let's go right into the genome uh, class and implement these uh, methods. So the first one is public void mutate link to create a new link between two new nodes. The next one is mutate node. So we are going to place a new node in between a uh, in between two already existing nodes. Uh, basically, we will exchange a connection by two new connections and a node in the middle. Next one is public void mutate wake shift. We are going to take a um, connection and shift the wake by a uh, factor. Next one is the public void public void mutate wake ran random. Um, basically this doesn't shift the wake but assigns a totally new value to this wake. Next one is or the last one is public void mutate link toggle which toggles the enabled state of a of a link so if it's enabled it's going to be disabled and the other way around so these three are rather simple so we are going to start with them so in all of these what we need to do is we need to get a connection that we can toggle or shift the weight or something like that so connection gene con is equal to connections dot random element that's basically what we are going what's what's the purpose of this method and if con is not equal to equal to, to null, then we can do something with with that. So let's copy this for now, in there and in there, and start with the toggle method because that's probably the easiest one. So con dot set enabled to not con dot is enabled. Okay, yeah, that's it for for this method. Now let's go into the wake shift. The or let's start with the wake random. It's uh, easier always. It's also easier than the wake shift. So um. Con not set weight to a random value in between a factor, plus, like in the range of minus a factor to plus a factor. So let's start with math.random times 2 minus 1. This is a value in between minus 1 and 1. And by multiplying this by a factor, we can have a value in between the range of this, this factor. And let's go into the neat class and implement this. So private um, double weight shift. Uh, strength is going to be for the wake shift and the um, same for the random well random wake random strength like that we're going to use this for the random wake and this for the wake shift because there's also going to be a strength included now let's create getters for these and go back into the genome class and multiply this by need dot get weight random strength now we can copy this into our wake shift strength Remove this by the get wake shift strength and add the old weight to that. So con not get weight plus that value. So we're not assigning a new value but uh, rather shifting it. Let's not forget to assign some default values to that. Let's say um, 
the wake shift is having a strength of maybe 0 0.3 and the random thing of let's say 1 but you can always play around with these. So let's go back into the genome class and implement the mutate link method and for this we are going to basically that's the only method or place where we need the um, sort uh, add sorted method in the random hash set but it's, rep it's very important. If you don't do this right here everything is going to be messed up and I was looking for this bug like at least two days I think. So um, make sure that you add that you use the correct methods. So for the mutate link method, we need two nodes, and the first node must be in front of the other node. So the x value must be smaller. If the x value is the same, we cannot take these two nodes. So it might happen that let's say uh, we get two nodes, but we realize that there's already an uh, existing connection in between. Then we need to look for two new nodes. So we, we're going to give it a hundred tries, so for int i equal to zero, i smaller than 100, i plus plus, and in there we're going to check, um, we're going to create a connection and check if we can use this, if not we're going to try it again. So uh, let's say node gene a is equal to nodes.random element, same for node gene b. Now the first thing we need to check is if a.getx is equal to b.getx, we cannot do this, so we need to continue and try from the beginning. By the way, this is this also includes um, that the object would be the same, so we cannot have any connection to the object or to the to the same node. Uh, like we cannot have any recursion in it or something like that. So this should work for similar objects as well for object objects that have the same x value. Next one is. We are going to create a new connection. Connection gene con is equal to uh, neat dot get connection. Oh, actually, no, this is not true. We need to check if a is in front or after b. So, if a dot get x is smaller than b dot get x, then we are going to have a connection from a to b. So, con is equal to neat dot get connection from a to b. Otherwise, we are going to have a connection from uh, b to a, like that. Perfect. Now the next thing we need to assign a wake and this is going to be random and we're going to use the same uh, method or we're going to use the same strength f as if we would assign a random wake like here. So we can basically copy this into here and we're going to assign a new wake in this range. Okay so we shouldn't be using this um, need.get connection method. Instead we are going to simply call the constructor because we do not want to assign a uh, an innovation number yet. The connection gene uh, is a new connection gene from A to B. So we do not want to have it in the central pool yet. Uh, we only want to add it to the neat class pool of connections if we are actually going to use this. So let's not let's uh, do it this way and later check if we can use it. So if the connection contains this connection then we are going to continue and not use it. Otherwise, we can set the weight and we can also set the innovation number or basically create it. So con is equal to uh, connections dot. Let's do this in front. So con is equal to be is going to be replaced by connections dot um, not connections need dot get connection from con dot get from to con dot get to like that. So this should be a connection that is registered in the need pool, has an innovation number, then we can set the weight and we need to add it to the connection. So connections.add, uh, actually yes, yeah, sorted, the connection, like that. Good. Now the last method is the muted node method and let's implement this one as well. For this we will choose a random connection and replace it with two new connections and a node in the middle. So connection clean uh, on is called con is equal to connections dot random element and if this is equal to null we are going to do nothing and return the method next is we are going to get the from node so node gene from is equal to con dot get from the two node so con dot get two and the node in the middle is going to be created as a new node. So node middle is need dot get node like that. Perfect. Now let's also create the connections from from to the middle 
and from middle to two. So connections connection gene con is equal to need dot get connection from no con one is equal to the connection from one from from to middle and from the con two connections from the middle to the two node like that. Perfect. So what we shouldn't forget is this is like there we can forget many things here and we need to take care of a lot of things. So the first one is the first connection is going to have a weight of one and the second connection is going to have the same weight as the old connection. So can't not get weight. Furthermore, we um, we uh, should perhaps set the enabled state, um, so con dot set enabled to the old connection dot is enabled. So it's going to copy the weight and the enabled state of the previous connection. Furthermore, we want to remove the old connection. So connections dot remove con. Uh, furthermore, we want to add these new connections. So connections uh, dot add con1 and con2 connection start add con2 like that furthermore we need to add the new node in the middle so nodes dot add middle and the last thing that we need to do is we need to set the x and y values because they are initialized to zero right now and this would be a problem later on for creating new connections so middle dot set x to the average from of the from and the two nodes so from dot um, get x plus two dot get x divided by two, and we need some brackets. Furthermore, we want to set the y value to something in between them. So get y to uh, get y divided by two, and I figured out that it looks a little bit better later on if um, we uh, as if we add a random offset, let's say times zero point one minus zero point zero five, like that. So right now this should hopefully be working and we can go back into the frame class and enable these uh, commented out methods. Um, and if we run the neat class again, we should hopefully see the old, uh, the old empty genome. And now we can, for example, create a new link. And obviously this didn't work out as expected. It created four new links, but it only should create one. So let's go back into the genome class and in here, after we created a new connection and added it to our list, we don't want to go back to the beginning and do all this uh, all over again. So let's simply return the method. Now let's run this again and hopefully creating a new link will only result in one link. And this should work as expected, we cannot create any more and there are no new links created. So this is perfect. Now let's mutate a node. So what it did is, well, it uh, created a new node, but it placed it up there, so that shouldn't be like that. So let's go back into our uh, genome class and look at the y value. So it's divided by two, but plus math.random. Let's remove this for now and check what's going on. Oh, it's actually, we're setting the oh, set y there. So you can put that back in there. And hopefully everything should be working. So let's create a new connection, mutate the node, uh, maybe shift a weight that worked as well, and set a random weight, this is working as well, and toggle them. And if we uh, create a new node, uh, yeah, that works. So it also took the enabled state of the old weight, the same weight, and this is set to one. So everything is working. Now let's combine all of these mutations into one method with some probabilities. Now for each of these um, mutations we are going to assign a probability. So private double probability uh, probability like that of the uh, mutate link method. And we're going to set everything to let's say 0 0.4 for now. Uh, you should probably play around with these. So they should they should definitely be lower than that, but that's just for demonstration purpose. So mutate notes, mutate um, weight shift or shift weight shift. I think it's called weight shift. Um, the mutate weight random and the toggle link, toggle link like that. So let's also create getters for these. 
create getter. And now let's go back into our genome class, into our mutation method, and combine all of these. So if meet dot get um, probability of the let's start with the uh, link method is uh, greater than method random, then we're going to mutate that. So mutate link. Now let's do this for all of the others as well. So we we might have multiple mutations. Uh, that means that if we create a new link, we can also create a new node there uh, in the same mutation. So mutate uh, node, mutate wake shift, mutate wake random, and the mutate link toggle. Yeah, mutate link toggle there, and let's also also replace this probability. So get probability probability toggle link get probability uh, wake random get probability of the wake shift mutate wake shift and get prob get probability of the node method. So if we run this, um, you can also go back into the frame method a frame class and check if this is enabled, so it's not for me, so just comment that out and run this again. And now you don't have to uh, mutate everything by, uh, you don't need to click on these buttons, you can just click on the mutate button and it will do everything for you. So right now nothing happened, I clicked, but nothing happened. So if I click multiple times, it's going to work. And this actually looks pretty good. And, well, yeah, this is basically it for this video. I hope you liked it. Tell me what you think about it in the comments. You can download everything in the description and hope to see you in the next video.